This is Zuzogushe informal settlement. Some residents have been living in this area for more than two decades. Community members are disgruntled and say they don't have basic services such as electricity, running water and toilets. Many residents have also resorted to illegal electricity connections. Stan Hazen says the party can restore the dignity of the community. It appalls me that it's 20 years since that community has been set up there. They still don't have uh, legal electricity. They still don't have running water piped to their homes. I don't understand we have a community that's there for 20 years, and yet they're still sitting without even the most basic of services. The community is not going anywhere. It's going to be there. It's a perfect in-situ upgrade situation for the municipality. Kukumungwe has been living here for over two decades. She says... They are a forgotten community. I've lived in the area for more than 20 years and we are receiving no service delivery. We still we like electricity, we don't have that is why we decided to put our own connection. Residents say councillors have failed them. Parties must stop electing councillors for residents because these councillors end up not working for us. With reference to the qualification saga involving the DA's Western Cape MEC for Transport and Public Works, Bonginkosi Matigizela, Stian Hazen said they view allegations of false qualification in a serious light. Matigizela has been suspended while investigation are underway. It's very clear that there has been a BCOM that's been claimed. That is not in fact a BCOM. Uh, the, Mr. Maris Gazella has been suspended by the Premier of the province while the province does an investigation, but has also been referred to the Federal Legal Commission of the Democratic Alliance to look at the facts. And I can assure anybody watching this program that if in fact there was a deception and it was fraudulently uh, put forward, that action will be taken. Uh, we regard it in a very serious light. Stian Hazen, however, defends the issue of qualification involving the party's chief whip, Natasha Mazzoni. The issue around Mrs. Mazzoni is completely different. It's driven by fake news and uh, by the good party, who unfortunately didn't get their facts right. They're relying on Wikipedia. Wikipedia is notoriously unreliable. Wikipedia as well doesn't allow you to update your own page anyway. By elections will be held in seven wards in different municipalities in the province. In 2016, the party was 9% short of cleansing the Umgeni municipality. Londe Khatebe, SAPC News, Hawik.